Hey guys, Jason Morris here, and this is part two, part two of my $50 mobile home video. Here, I want to show you guys how far we got. It's been about a week. I think we're into this project for about about 600 bucks at this point, I guess. So let's take a look. Um, so as you can see, nothing's really changed here on the outside. Okay. Still got the hole in the roof. Still got all that exciting stuff. But I want to show you kind of what's happened over the last week. And so we're... It's around $600, $650. I don't know an exact amount right this second, but um, you kind of got to do these things in stages. Okay, so when you guys seen it last time, the floor was all busted up and, you know, the sheetrock was all messed up and stuff. So what we done was we cleaned everything out, right? We cleaned out all the carpet. We pulled out all the stuff so we could see exactly what was rotted, what wasn't rotted what we had to work with then we basically cut up the drywall so that we could uh you know get to the electrical that had been stolen so you kind of see it coming together a little bit now the the roof here i know there's a lot of you guys looking at this and you're going oh why didn't you fix the roof first why didn't you fix the roof first the reason was there wasn't anything to fix the roof on top of you know so all of this was basically um completely gone it was all rotted out so um and basically the the water damage had just you know done it so there's a lot of people that go, that talk about i've seen especially new people doing projects like this and they want to rip everything out now if we would have ripped everything out what would have happened is it would have affected the structural integrity of the roof that was already there so what we're doing these roof trusses we got got a couple of bad places on them but for the most part they're not rotted you know the end is that facial board is However, it ties them all together, but that can be replaced. So what we're doing here, you kind of see it. We're just getting started working on it. So we got the floor fixed. We got something solid. Now we're basically going to jack this up, brace it, right? We're going to brace it so that we can actually tear out the rest of the stuff and put it back without the roof basically caving in on us. Now, what we got to do here is we got to get a jack and we got to actually jack it up to the the height that it's supposed to be. <laughs> so this is all being held up right now by just OSB that's on top of the well, plywood that for you guys don't know that's on top of the um the uh house. So um yeah so let's go back here. I want to show you this this too. So this back bedroom. Back bedroom didn't really look bad if you watched the first video. Um it didn't really look that bad. <laughs> we pulled up the carpet and everything and the floor trusses are literally almost rotted through. So what we're doing is we're basically going through, we're replacing the floor trusses. You see that see that nice new uh nice new 2x6 over there. We've already we've already put that one in. The rest of these are going to be replaced and then all that wet stuff that's down there, wet insulation and all that stuff would be replaced once we have something that we can actually hook it to that's like actually stable. So um once that's done, the floor is fixed. We'll fix the roof. See, we had a little little roof leak on this one too. But we'll fix the roof. And then once the roof is solid, um, and we can basically we have a solid shell or a solid structure, we'll do the we'll do the electrical, we'll do the sheetrock, we'll fix all the water stains and the water um water damage and stuff. Probably have to pull some of that stuff out, but we'll fix all of that. And um, then, uh, really, we've got probably, I, I know some of you guys are going to think I'm crazy when I say this, and let me know in the comments, how long do you think something like this would take? Two weeks? Three weeks? Because here's the, here's the interesting thing. So, we're going to take this, uh, we're going to take this before we put in kitchen cabinets, we're going to paint everything while it's basically sitting empty, once we get it all sealed up and sheetrocked back up. We'll paint everything while it's empty. We'll lay down the floors, and then we'll just put the kitchen cabinets right on top of the flooring, so we won't have to work and cut around all that stuff. And of course, we gotta gotta get some new doors in here. That's coming. That's coming. So, but I wanted to show you kind of what where we're at with it and um, what's happening. So we're probably around between six hundred and sixty, six hundred and fifty dollars, like all in on this project that's me with labor and materials at this point and um 
it's moving right along. This this is rent for six hundred and fifty dollars a month when it's finished, and I think that it um, that includes the materials here. So we got enough OSB. I'll tell you this: we got enough OSB that I think we can I think we can fix this in here. Um, pro I think I got enough two by fours too. Yeah, I think I got enough two by fours over there under the OSB that we can probably uh, frame up this wall. Might have to get some stuff for the outside, shingles, um, some OSB for the roof. What we're going to do is, um, the back side of the roof looks good. So what we're going to do is just patch the places, and then we're going to go back over with a metal roof later. Um, but we're going to seal it up so that it doesn't leak today. Or seal it up so that it doesn't leak. Um, that way we can go ahead and get rented and have income coming in. Then we'll go back with a metal roof like in the next month or two when things aren't quite as busy for us but um yeah guys that's it all that insulation to come out look at this so it's raining today one more thing it's raining today and um where the roof is actually leaking here on the back you can see where the insulation is wet so yeah all that stuff i'll have to get replaced but anyway we're not talking about a tremendous amount of money you know a roll of insulation isn't very much it doesn't take it isn't very much labor cost to put it in. So, guys, you have a great day. Stay tuned. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you can see the next part as we're going through and renovating this $50 single watt.